Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be covering big spins. A big spin is a 360 shove it with a 180 body burial in the same direction as the shove it. For this particular video I'm just going to cover nollie and fakey big spins. They're a little bit easier to learn than a regular like ollie big spin. Um, I'll get into a little bit of why that's the case, but uh, for the most part, I don't think there's one way that like everyone says, oh, this is the easiest way to learn them. So there's four different ways you could do a nolly or a fakey big spin, a big spin off the nose of your board. First two ways are if you're riding your normal stance, you have your feet at the front of the board, and you could either spin clockwise or counterclockwise or you can either spin so that you're immediately going to face the direction you're spinning or you're going to have your back to the direction you're spinning. This is backside if you are spinning with your back to the direction you're spinning and frontside if you are going to spin towards the front of your body. The other direction or the other two ways of doing this is fakey, and that means you're going to be riding switch, so opposite your normal riding stance, and you're going to have your feet at the front of the board, so this time it's your, your back feet that are normally at the, at the tail of your board. Since you're going to be riding switch, they're gonna be at the front of the board, and you're going to launch off the nose, and again, you have those two front side and back side rotations. Now I actually think, since this is fakey, the directions are reversed. I think backside is with your front of the body facing the spin direction because you're fakey, so if you're going regular, that would actually be front side, or your, your front would actually be facing that direction. Front side and backside is really confusing in skateboarding. Don't get too caught up on the terminology. It's, it doesn't really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. So, in terms of learning this trick, there are a couple of tricks you're going to want to know how to do first that will be helpful for this. Definitely no nollie and fakie shove it, which is just, just a 180, um, and definitely be comfortable jumping on and off your board. Besides that, I don't really know, I don't think it's that necessary that you need to be able to do a 180 ollie or fakie 180. Those will be helpful, but this is such a natural trick that you may not even need those. In fact, you don't even have to really pop your board to do a big spin. So let me go through like the generic motion that you're gonna be doing, um, not really paying attention to whether it's your, whether you're going fakie or nollie, because these same concepts will apply no matter what stance you're doing the spin. There are a lot of leaves blowing around right now, so that's that's what that weird noise is in the background. All right, so let's just say I'm riding regular that direction. I'm gonna use my hands as my feet. One foot is gonna be on the nose of your board, and the other one I'll typically put on, like kind of over the bolts. Again, I'm not really focusing on trying to pop the board, just spin it. And that gets to why this is a little bit easier than a regular big spin where you're going forward and you pop it off the tail. Pivoting your board off the nose is easier because you kind of swing and create like a little lever. So if you can imagine, as you're riding, you push down this way and then you can take this foot and swing the board forward this way and use the leverage to keep your momentum going in that direction. When you are going off the tail of your board, it's a little bit more difficult because you don't have as bit of a, you don't have as much of a lever from the fulcrum right here. So you've got like a lever about this big off your tail, and you've got a lever about this big if you're going off your nose. And yeah, you can make the lever action from up here, but I just find that that's a little bit harder because you're already pushing down, you're already putting force into this foot, it is trickier to get leverage on the opposite foot that you're coming off the ground with. So in order to do the trick, you're going to push down and start to spin 
and just jump with your board and kind of go with it. I know that's really, really vague, and I'm sorry. Um, so definitely watch the four ways that I do it, and you can kind of see how the motion works. Some general concepts to keep in mind is keep your back straight and keep your shoulders directly over your board. Don't try and fling too hard. That will make you lose control. I think it's actually a little bit better to learn and stay in control, maybe under spinning the big spin rather than just trying to make the board do the full spin. And be ready to land either regular or switch. You can learn this standing still. I think that is okay, but for me, I always find tricks a little bit easier to learn if I'm just rolling a little bit forward in the direction that I'm going. And of course, stay kind of crouched when you're learning this as well, keeping that straight back the taller up you are, the harder it is to keep your balance and maintain your balance. So keeping a lower center of gravity is really gonna help you stay stable and stay on the trick. So I think I've rambled on enough about this with vague concepts. Here are some big spins in all four directions that I talked about. And watch them, go out and try them on your own. And let us know in the comments if you have other tips that work for you. And always remember to change up your foot positions, change up your weight dis distribution, change up your timing. You never know what simple changes that you make are going to help you get the trick.